Me and the baby? Do you still think there might be a family connection between you, Kate Walker? Well, all I know is that my family on my mother's side came from Europe. Well, like a lot of New Yorkers, right? I, I don't know from where exactly, but... And then there's the music box my mother left me, which it turns out plays the Wagen anthem. I mean, it all seems so... so magical. Almost like destinies at play. Or a coincidence, Kate Walker. The law of coincidences states that the more an individual is liable to believe in coincidences, the more coincidences happen to them. But then there's the fact, the fact, Oscar, that everyone keeps telling me Dana and I look so much alike. What do you plan on doing now, Kate Walker? According to the diary, Dana left for a sanatorium outside of town. The records might tell what became of her and her baby. But before we go... There's something that's been bothering me. What is it, Kate Walker? The pogrom that Frau Heigl told us about, the one during which the house and the neighborhood were ransacked, happened in 1938, if I recall correctly. Dana said that she was leaving for the sanatorium for a few months at the end of 1937. Indeed, Kate Walker. So it is very likely she was safe and sound over there when the pogrom occurred. Yes, but what if, what if she was home with her baby? I need to be sure before we leave for the sanitarium, Oscar. We need to search the neighborhood for more evidence. All right, Kate Walker. Where you lead, I will follow, as long as you don't forget your bag. Trust me, Oscar. You're the only friend I've got right now. I ain't losing you. Threats, riddled with misspellings and signed, Frank Hoss, that member of the Brown Shadow who added in for Leon at the refuge. Looks like he never forgave them and was after Dana during the pogrom. Indeed, Kate Walker, but the very existence of this message could mean she wasn't home when those tragic events occurred. We're getting close, but it's not enough to draw conclusions yet. So... According to that letter, Dana was supposed to stay at the sanatorium until December 1938. Looks like there were medical complications. That's a good clue, I guess. But I need to find more. Dana's initials. Ackerman, Fisher, Yorga. I can't find Dana here. No. 
in loving memory of all those who lost their lives that terrible night. Anton and Lena Rose. Tana's parents. Oh, God. They were killed during the pogrom. Is Donna Rose also mentioned? It doesn't look like it, no. But I need to be sure. According to that book, the pogrom occurred at the beginning of November 1938. I think that's it, Oscar. We know that the pogrom occurred at the beginning of November 1938. Dana's parents, Anton and Lena, were killed, that's certain. But Dana was supposed to be at the sanatorium back then. Which seems to be confirmed by that message Herr Hoss left in the house, Kate Walker. Exactly. So I guess we're done here, Oscar. Let's take the tram back to the guest house. We'll try to find that sanitarium first thing tomorrow. There she is. The famous Kate Walker. Sorry, what? Donna Rose. I knew her very well, you know. Our Donna, darling. Waiting for the tram, aren't you? Well, we'd be better off speaking at the guest house. I hear there's a storm coming. Pleased to make your acquaintance, Miss Walker. Colonel Blake. Colonel Blake or Fräulein Junta. <laughs> Connecting the dots, are we? You're a very clever young woman. But you must be eager to know why I'm here in front of you, bearing the surname of one of Her Majesty's military officers. <laughs> But here's our tram. Would you be so kind? So, oh, Miss Walker, you've been rather quiet. I would have thought you'd have some questions for me. No? I 
I read that you used your prestige as an artist to spy on the brown shadows of the UK before and during the war. So, what is your real name then? Junta Steinhoff or Colonel Blake? Janice Blake is my name, Miss Walker. It's not the sort of name the Brown Shadow would have trusted, I'm sure you'll agree. So I took my mother's maiden name as an alias. Both my parents were diplomats from Austria, you see. So you were some kind of double agent? You make it sound more romantic than it really was, miss. But yes, I guess one could say so. You mentioned the guest house. Are you that other guest I heard about? Indeed, Miss Walker. It's actually Frau Wagner who told me about you. When she told me that you were looking for Dana, I knew I had to talk to you. Frau Wagner told me to call the Academy, which I did, and the Rector then redirected me towards the Bridge of Mist. And that's how I ended up wandering up and down it, asking about a mysterious American woman with a painting. I guess you have new information about Dana for me? I might very well indeed, Miss Walker, but what if you told me first what that little investigation of yours has dug up about Dana? I know Dana was very concerned about Leon being on the run after the death of that scientist, Herr Berger. I, I can't blame her. How could he survive through the winter all alone in the mountains in a strange country? How could he? That's exactly the right question, Miss Walker. That origin expedition in Baltaya, what a mess that was. I discovered today that Dana became pregnant that summer of 37. Leon was the father. So her parents decided to hide her in a sanatorium outside town. Which, I assume, saved her from the night of the brown shadow pogroms in Wagen. You assume right, but her parents, on the other hand. Yes, I heard they didn't make it. Poor bastards, if you'll pardon my French. So, that's basically all I know. Can you tell me what happened to Dana after she left for the sanatorium to have her baby? I must confess, Miss Walker, that I was afraid you might overlook some of the painful information here, which is clearly the case. What do you mean? I... look... I think it would be best if we stay in this carriage until the very end. I know it is an odd request to make, but you really must see this for yourself. Well, I... Until then, I recommend you look outside the window. I guarantee it'll be worth your while. <laughs> 